is that time week again. I'm Chef Nicholas Kinney, and let's just jump into it. And let me just say, the photography this week, incredible. I mean, literally, I cannot believe my, ow, did I take that picture? Uh... Now, as you guys know, and some of you that don't know, one of my specialties is utilization and coming up with new ideas because of that. And I'm able to drop costs because of this. And most chefs can't even do this. Let's just be honest here. A lot of chefs just throw away food like, oh, I can't do that, just throw it away. Oh. Now, it's not really intentional. We want to actually, you know, utilize everything as possible, but some people just can't come up with a lot of ideas. So things rot, and what I do in the situation is I preserve a lot of stuff. So where I'm going with this is this. It made this chicken dish, like, incredible. So what I did in this dish was this. So I got my leftover cherries, picked them, threw them in the pan, boiled them, pureed them, and then actually added them in poison sauce and mixed it in there. Obviously, you didn't get that much of the color, you know, because you kind of want that red color. Like, ooh. Then I got my chicken and I broke it down to smaller pieces because my client actually wanted skin on chicken. I was like, yeah, sure, no worries, gotcha. Then I got some beets, I shredded them in the processor and then I blanched it so it wouldn't oxidize and then, you know, I chilled it up. And then just sliced up some squash. Now, after that was all said and done, I got my chicken and threw it in the oven. And high heat, of course. Anyway, so in the meantime, while I was in the oven, I grabbed my beets and I got some sesame seed leaves and I picked that and sauteed it into a pan. Then I grabbed the squash and put it onto a sheet pan and threw it into the oven to finish it. You know, like not too much, kind of like a sweat to it. And then, of course, as you know, I plated it up. Boom, 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 boom. But geez, that picture is incredible. Like, oh my God. Same with the salmon, same with the salmon, which I will mention. If you ever get to do that, get cherry and the hoisin and then put that together and marinate salmon. Oh my God, it makes it so soft and moist. I'm like, jeez, that's delicious. But I didn't take any pictures. Now I wanna tell you the story. Now this is very common in the industry. So if you go to a breakfast place, there's gonna be maybe a lot of eggs left over and maybe they'll do a lot of scrambled eggs. And what happens is, they end up throwing it away, and that's because they don't know what to do with it. Now, this is where I bring up this dish. So how this salad dish came about was because my friend asked me the question, hey Nick, what would you do with scrambled eggs? And I said, well, with the leftover scrambled eggs, what I would do is I kind of would make it into a salad, or I'd make it into cookies, or stuff like this. Like, you know, there's so many different things that you can do with this, I mean, to me, I see what it's going on, but a lot of people just go, throw it away. And you don't have to throw it away. Now, the, one of the first rule of thumbs to make this easy and perfect for you, if you ever want to do this, is that you want to make sure that your scrambled eggs are very fluffy. And in order to do that, you have to have a lot of oil in there. That's what allows it to be super fluffy. If it's dense and solid, it's because you didn't throw enough fat, which is oil or whatever fat you're using. Otherwise, it will suck. So you guys know the egg mixture. Egg, salt, and oil. Boom, bah. All right, so I grabbed it in the pan, threw it in the pan, cooked it in like, I don't know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Remember, high heat. Da -da -da -da. Done. Then I cooled down the scrambled eggs. And while that was chilling, of course, so I was looking for some very bold flavors to go with, you know, making this scrambled, cooled salad, whatever, in something cool. So I got lemon vovina, and then I got Pacific Northwest sorrel, native sorrel. And I made it into a dressing. So I threw that together and say that my clients really loved it. Then I got my onions, threw in the processor, made caramelized onions, and I separated two of them. I got the one that was sweated, and then I had another one that was just caramelized with a little more color to it. And all I did to make this is, I got the scrambled eggs, mixed that with rocket lettuce or arugula, and added my dressing to it, and of course, mama lulus, I threw in some mama lulus. And yeah, it was just delicious on itself, which I actually should mention, I, I liked it so much, I made it again the other day, but I actually did blueberry tarragon dressing to mix in there, and you know, fellow chefs were like, dang, this is really good. Now the story behind this dish is, a couple years ago, I found another way of not using eggs as a binder. And this was all because of a vegan. Now, usually a lot of people use dry powders and stuff like this, but I decided to come up with another way of using fresh. 
And what happened was this vegan goes, oh, I can't eat this. It's got eggs on this. Oh, I can't eat this, blah, blah, blah. And I said, oh, okay, let me find another way. I got another way for you. And of course, you know, what everyone always does, no, 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 it's, it's no trouble at all. Please don't worry about my, no, 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 I'll do it. No problem. I want to do this because I'm curious because I want to see if it will work. Most likely I knew it was going to work. I was confident in that ability, but that's what happened. Now what I did was I ended up making this quinoa cake. Now, how this came about was I got brown rice and I overcooked it. And then I pureed it and added some preservatives such as salt and lemon juice to preserve my paste. So I made this brown rice paste to bind something together. And it turned out great and these vegans loved it and all these other people loved it as well. And I was like, sweet, new way of doing something. And I love to and it's fresh too. And most importantly, I got to gain respect, which is very important to me. Now to follow it up, I decided to do it again years later, which is bringing to this dish right here. So I got this kidney bean potato cake. Now first thing I did was I got kidney beans, threw into the processor. I didn't want to puree it all the way through. And then I got sweet potatoes and I shredded that and I blanched it to make sure it wouldn't oxidize and of course give it a slick kind of a texture to it. Then I got sauteed spinach and then I mixed it into a bowl with all these other ingredients. Also grabbed my fresco chilies which I diced before and I threw in it. So pretty. Now here's the thing, this is when I added in my brown rice paste and then I mixed it in there. Now the first couple tries actually didn't even hold out very well when I was you know, testing out if it would hold up. I was forced to actually add in chickpea flour, which I did not want to do. And it was at that r moment I realized, crap, I should seriously use grains. That's what was holding it together because these grains that, you know, my quinoa cake that I did before, that was holding it together very well. But if you have everything like a bloody puree and, you know, a paste, well, nothing's really going to hold together really. And that's exactly what happened. You needed another solid that was gonna help bind everything together like a spiderweb. Nah, you live and you learn. Anyway, after I did all of that, I grabbed carrot tops and I got grapefruit juice and I squeezed that together and made a carrot top grapefruit bar. And to finish it off, I grabbed some Brussels sprouts, sliced it up and finished it in the pan and I played it up, boom, 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 boom. And I was, wow, that was delicious. Let me just say that. Now for my last dish, which was a killer dish, or killer pepper stuffed pepper. But I will mention, don't do it for tofu. My client did not like that one as much. But the, the turkey one turned out great. It's not the tofu. Don't do tofu. Might have to scramble that a little more. I don't know. So first what I did was I got garlic scapes and I chopped that off and then I cooked in the pan with also golden berries. Then I added in at the last minute the stalk of the bok choy and then I cook the leaves separately because you know you, you want to cook it evenly you know you know you know what I mean once the vegetables were cooled down because I laid it on the sheet pan after that I grabbed that put the vegetables in there and then I added in some turkey gotta keep my lines you know lean oh yeah and added some shredded carrots then I just followed up by stuffing the peppers because I cut in half and put it in there and I threw it in the oven now while that was in the oven I ended up getting Water wort, for the first time I've never used, actually has a celery leaf taste to it, even the stalk, but it had a slight bitterness to it. So I got that, chopped it up, finished in the pan, and I threw some other ingredients in there as well. And wow, I just played it up, boom, 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 and I will not mention, well, I will mention, this is probably one of my favorite pitches I got this week. It's like, Jesus. All right, guys, you know the drill. I'm Chef Nicholas Kinnear. Don't forget to click the like button if you like this video. And if you want to follow us, you can click up here if you're on mobile or over here on desktop, which will take you to our page. And all you have to do is just click that. And we post every Wednesday. And if you want other insights and stuff like that, we do post on Information Cuisine and give you a little more notes because I can't give you every detail on, well, video because this is going to be such a long video. And I will mention, I've been hanging out on Quora and answering people's questions. I have been busy a lot because I've been dealing with, you know, wedding stuff and all the other things that have been on my mind. Because I've been trying some new, well, systems for my business. Which is going really great, but should I mention? Should I mention? Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week and peace.